excited for the launch of new edition of Colors FBB Feminine Miss India 2017. We are very proud, uh, you know, when our girls have gone and, you know, won best bodies at international pageants. I mean, I remember, uh, you know, the women like Priyanka Chopra, Ashwarya Rai, uh, you know, who went there and looked so beautiful in the swimwear that they participated in at their international pageants. Uh, I wish I could wear one, uh, but that's out of the question right now. Coming back to this year, Miss India, we don't have any swimwear because we want every girl to think and know that she has a chance to make it. We want to encourage participation. We don't want parents to stop their kids and think that, hey, I don't, I'm not comfortable wearing swimwear on stage. We're not doing that. We're changing the game, as we said. We have even reduced the height criteria this year, and we've made it 5-5. Five, five. You wouldn't believe this, but at auditions when we travel, we see so many parents dejected, or so many women dejected, and so many people just asking for a chance to audition because they are 5-5 five, five and not 5-6 or 5-7. And uh, I mean, we geogra geographically or biologically as Indians uh, do not have such tall women. So we decided that, hey, you know, since we are going to the country, let's, you know, go ahead and actually democratize even our criteria and make it 5-5. Five, five. And we go ahead and reduce it. So we want everyone to know that you are welcome if you are 5'5 five, five and above and if you are an Indian national. And we have even gone ahead so that for the state participation, we can have the correct person representing their state. So we have even gone ahead and defined those criteria. You could log on to missindia.in and see all the criteria that are needed to participate in Miss India from your state. Colors has been with us for the past five years now. And Colors is the number one entertainment channel of this country. And we want, uh, Colors this time has even promised us that, uh, you know, we want to thank Mr. Raj Nayak, of course, uh, that they're going to be taking this pageant to every state, to every three tier, two tier city where Colors exists, possibly, to make sure that those 30 girls get their due because everyone is a winner. I would just quickly like to call uh, Ms. Prachi Mohapatra who is the Chief Marketing Officer. Can we please give it up for Prachi from FBD? Well, um, 1964, 54 glorious years for Miss India and a very young partner, FBB, India's Fashion Hub. So our, our journey of being here has started in 2008, so we are quite young. Nine years of being and three years of being associated with you guys. Yes. We are very uh, proud to be here associating with uh, Femina Miss India all over again. Colors Femina Miss India all over again. <laughs> for the first time, we are opening our store doors for the auditions. So this is the first time we will actually go into the stores, have participants, have the people of this country participate in this entire process live. Not through a virtual medium but standing there live, looking at the auditions, opening the doors, not holding any closed door auditions and making them think, oh, kya chal raha hai? This is the first time we're opening our doors and our heart onto the country, uh, to the country. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Uh, this day is really very special for me because of, uh, if Femina Miss India is taking a new, uh, is diving into a new field, new version actually, it's coming out of the cover at some point. So, like something else. So I definitely have a lot of expectations from Femina Miss India, the new version, because I remember I can see what I used to be and what I, has, what I have become is just because of Femina Miss India. Uh, it's a huge transformation and I remember the few pictures were leaked when I was in the Big Boss house okay, of my childhood and I take extreme pride in saying that's what I used to be and that's, this is how I am today and I have no regrets. And I'm not ashamed of my past. So, yeah, and I would like to say, I would like to thank Femina Miss India a million times because the transformation that I've been through is just because Femina Miss India. And if, even if I went to the Big Boss house, was because of Miss India and the Times of India team. 
uh, I would like to also thank them to give me an opportunity to uh, represent my country at Miss United Continents. It's, an Latin it's a Latin American pageant. It used to be Latin American pageant and now it's open for all the continents. So, and this, uh, uh, well, let me come to the new, uh, new version of Miss India. I'm so happy to know that there are 30 girls who will be selected from different states of the country and would be there at the Miss India finale. I think it's a fabulous idea. Nothing can be better than that because I think India is such a di diverse country, diverse in all the as aspects, uh, even in terms of beauty because girls from all over the country are different and beautiful in different ways. Uh, girls from the no Northeast are extremely exotic. Girls from the South are different, beautif beautiful and they're very different from the girls in the North. You know, the beauty also varies in different parts of the country and I think this idea is just wonderful and it is going to take Miss India to another level. Um, I wish them all the best and I would like to say that to all the parents who restrict their ch children for, from pa participating in Miss India just because they have bikini rounds and all, you need to loosen up. You don't have to cut the feathers of those birds. They can fly really high and you have no idea. I can tell you what, I belong to such a normal, um, uh, down-to-earth, a middle-class family that had never imagined a girl, their daughter, walking in a bikini. I never imagined myself walking in a bikini. But when I participated in Miss India Goa, and, and I was the first runner up there, I remember wearing bikini for the first time. And I had no idea that I would have to wear this. So my father was not in my favor, and uh, he's like, do whatever you want, this is your money, do whatever you want, because I was pursuing engineering then. And he said, we really don't care what you do with this Miss India and all, we don't understand. But you know what? The same man today takes pride in saying that my girl is a Miss India. And uh, it, the, uh, the transformation hasn't just happened to me, it has happened to my father as well, my parents. And the, the vision that they have towards life today is absolutely different than what it used to be. I remember walking in a bikini and Natasha, and there used to be a girl called Rochelle, she said, are you okay walking in a bikini in front of camera? I said, I don't know, I haven't told my father yet. I'm not comfortable in front of camera. She, she said, what if you make it in the finale? What would you do? I said, tabka tab dekh lenge, abhi please mat dekhana TV pe. That's how I used to be. And today, I can walk the talk, I can stand in a bikini and do 100 photo shoots and I'm that confident. And then later on, you know, I did this, sh uh, I walked for, on the ramp without the cameras, of course, I got selected. I won Body Beautiful, that definitely gave me confidence. Confidence. And then I went back home and I told my dad, you know what, I've won this title, Miss India Goa. And I am definitely getting a chance to go ahead in Miss India finale. So I hope you don't mind if I will be walking there. So when I proved myself, he gave me a heads up, go ahead. I, there's no one that, no one, nothing that can stop you in this world. And then my life just changed. So thanks to Miss India, uh, and uh, I did Femina Miss India 2013. I did Femina Miss India 14. I did Miss Diva 2014. I did I did Miss United Continents 2016. So I've been in various pageants, and uh, over the years I have really changed. I have evolved as a person. I've definitely become a better person, and. Uh, I take pride in that and Miss India, Femina Miss India is the best thing that has happened to me and I cannot thank them enough. And I think if it, it can transform, change my life, it can change anybody's life, it can change any girl's life. It, I, I used to be such an uh, ambitious girl, uh, uh, one of the ambitious girls. Miss India has given me a direction and it can give directions to all the girls who are aiming to become something in life. So all the best. I would uh, want to uh, ask all the girls to participate actively. Go ahead and discover yourself. Thank you. So, wow, um, it's 2017, and I think a year back I was probably filling up the form for Miss India online. <laughs> and I had no idea where life would take me and what I would become. And let me tell you, whatever I was, I have grown so much from that. But anything that I want to do right now, I have the confidence to actually go ahead with it. I think Miss India is is a platform where we not only come to know who we are, we not only discover ourselves, but we also know what we want to do in life. And that is exactly what happened to me. 
I was really a person who lacked in confidence. I would never speak up in school or take, uh, you know, I would never particip participate in any of the debates and next step course because I didn't have that confidence in me. And ever since I won Miss Delhi, I knew I was uh, going to be in Miss India, but representing Assam. And as Natasha has already mentioned, nobody has ever won a title from Assam until last year. So I was really nervous and I didn't know if I could actually do it uh, because it's creating history. And I went forward and I projected the best of myself that I possibly could and I won the title of Miss India. And I was the very first contestant to represent India from Assam at the Miss World stage. And I felt so glad to share what my state or what my region has to offer at the Miss World uh, platform, where people did not know Assam. Obviously, they knew states like uh, they knew places like Delhi and Bombay, but they never heard a place called Guwahati. And I could tell them, and I could share my experience about what a beautiful region I come from. And now that we are changing. I'm really happy that all the girls from Northeast are going to get such an amazing opportunity to actually come forward, leave behind everything, anything that stops them from actually coming forward and giving the best. Because I know I lack that confidence, but it's, this is the opportunity and I would request all the girls to please come ahead and take part in it because I know what pride you take in representing your country your state. Well, good evening everyone and uh, firstly, I won't repeat the same things and go you guys but uh, I want to say really like so many pretty bloggers over here, I think we can have Bombay auditions right away. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Uh, well, there are a lot of things I can speak about but let me just get to the point. Uh, I've never thought of participating to a pageant in my life because I came to Bombay with a dream of becoming an actor or a model because I just wanted to be in the entertainment industry. But you know, people say that opportunity knocks your door and depends upon you whether you just go for it or not. And honestly speaking, I would really, really want to say honestly, I've been very close to a girl I was, not today, and she told me, and I, I was confused whether should I participate for Mr. India 2015 and walk in underwear for the first round, I don't get selected, <laughs> they put my picture on YouTube, I've already done a channel we show, do you think it's worth? And uh, she was like, it is, yes, it is worth, I think you can do really good. I said, no, 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 I want to, don't see my picture and my mom, my father, they, firstly, I'm a Marwadi family, I come from, they see what he's doing after going to Bombay. So, but then she really forced me and even I realized that, only for the fact, honestly, Mr. India 2015 had a change of subcontest best actor and I was already an actor in Channel B, I did a show. So I thought this is something which might make a difference and this might be an edge over the other contestants. I participated and uh, and then I think the subcontest Mr. Active is something that has that has really surprised me in my life. I can I can't jog on a treadmill even today for 10 kilometers at a stretch. At that point of time, not even two kilometers. But that contest was the, the most important. And just to say, you guys, Mr. World is way beyond beauty. Okay, so there's firstly there's a lot of physical activities in Mr. World. We have to. We had a sun dunes challenge at Mr. World at the 19 degrees temperature and then we had again a lot of physical activities, push-ups, pull-ups with all the 47 contestants. So I didn't know, I thought I, I'm not going to win Mr. Active, I think I'll just step out of it because this is not me and it started raining and my heart started beating more faster. What happens then? I don't know, there's something in me said that if I win Mr. Active, I'm winning Mr. Best Actor, I'm winning Mr. Photogenic. I'm Closer to everything, my face is good, I think, and I've done a channel B show, so I'm going to be somewhere there. But if I win Mr. Active, so something in me said that winning Mr. Active and Mr. India 2015. So I thought, no matter what, this day has to be the most hardworking day of my life, and I won Mr. Active. <laughs> so every week, Colors Seminar Miss India 2017. I think it's changing because every whatever constant in life is change. So uh, I'm I'm really glad and. Uh, FBB, which has the dynamic and the young nine years of association, I think they're doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much, everyone, for having me here. It's been it's been completely my honor to be here. Thank you.